All right, so let's continue our journey. So right here is a page in my notebook that expresses um, what we're talking about here, right? So we have lots of little children within ourself waiting to come out and play. ETP, ETP, enjoy the process, enjoy the process. When a child this big, yeah, that big, that big, um, you have one of those inside of you. You have something like this inside of you waiting to come out and play. And when you express yourself like this little child, you actually start to activate and call forth that little child. So by doing that, you can bring more play into your life and make your life a lot lighter Ugh, versus heavier, right? Lighter like fluffy here. He has that light fluffy hair. So your hair can be maybe not like his, but it will be light and fluffy versus heavy and like a rock, okay? And even those heavy rock situations have a gift, but we'll talk about that later. But drawing out your inner child. So that's what we did. So that's what this guy's about, is to call forth your inner hero. But first we gotta start with giving you that childlike wonder, that imagination I, which A is for artist. Then, how do we really start to cultivate that love for that inner character? Well, we need self-love. So there's the love languages, then the self-love languages, and that's where a lot of this stuff comes in. The response you have to your child is either heaven or hell. Ooh, that's a rough one to write talk about. We know that probably evokes a lot, and I apologize for that, but it is important to note is you can create the fluffy or the heavy. And that's kind of where you can start to dissolve some of that fear or some of that feelings that may be around those. Play connects you to your heart. A child is hidden waiting for you to come play. So that play is what needs to be balanced for your day. So you wanna have some play in your day. We were told maybe some of us that we shouldn't do any art, that art was useless. Well, it wasn't. It was actually designed to give love to that inside part of us and to bring out how you feel. So this idea was in my head, but I brought it out so you could see it. So that's a part of me right there you're looking at. Adventure, enjoy the process, ETP, the five love languages. From 92221, nice. What does the word, word fail mean to you? What does the word style mean to you? So that was the question. Those are two powerful questions I asked every time I set foot in uh, a classroom in West Palm Beach. I was working for a nonprofit and uh, they let me go teach whatever curriculum I wanted to, and most of it was around emotional intelligence, and that's kind of understanding that inside world and your emotions. Play tubby love first thing in the morning while you brush your teeth, brush and look in the mirror. This song says love yourself. So not only are we gonna draw them out, we use our hand-heart connection here to express ourselves. Well, now we can bring in our auditory learning in our ears and we can feed our brain with some beautiful music. So that's our breakfast brain food. Um, aesthetic sensitivity. Whoa, how cool is that? That's just a really big word. We're not going to talk about that now. And of course, the five love languages. So that's a little bit from my notebook. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. I'm Mr. Joshua, your star hero guide. May your day be filled with love, light, and play.